We are more than happy that Hanbin is back and Hanbin is still going. We have been waiting, and I know many others have been waiting. B.I. is back with a little mini album. He's got three tracks. This right here is a little music video. I guess it's all animated. And he's actually donating all of his profits from this album to charity. I mean, that just shows you how great of a guy this guy is, man. I mean, for one, I, I feel like what's happened with him, he doesn't deserve at all. And, you know, for him to take a loss like that, you know, and then donate all of, all of his profits from his work to charity. I mean, that just shows you like his character. Um, there's no reason to not like B.I. There's no, no real reason to, to say he deserved what he got. So Midnight Blue, that's the name of this track. I'm intrigued to see what he's going to talk about. But first, I gotta say what's good, what's up to our critiquer. Click, click. Just wanted to say before we started this video, we just started reacting to Mix and Match. So if you guys wanna check out our first episode reaction to Mix and Match, you can check it out down below in the description. I have a playlist there with all of our icon reactions. Um, so, Midnight Blue, let's dive. He is so multi-talented. His vocals right now. Damn. Damn. Mm. 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 Cry. He told us to cry. Oh. oh my god, that was so sad. Oh my god. Whew. Yeah. I had a feeling it was gonna be sad like that too. Yeah, midnight I had a blue. feeling. It's, yeah, midnight blue. 
Wow. Did y'all hear his vocals? The, them vocals, though. And then... That was just a beautiful it song. It was painfully beautiful. Like, I, I just... I could just feel his emotion, man. Mm -hmm. mm. Those lyrics were so, so deep and just... You know, you can tell that they resonate with B.I. and how he's feeling at the moment. All right, guys. Let's jump into this breakdown. Let's catch all the content here, and I'll tell you guys what I think the song means and my interpretation. Well, our interpretation. We'll tell y'all our interpretation. So let's go back into it. Let's dive. I feel like he's talking to Icon right now. I feel that. He's saying like we grown up too early because we worked hard. We worked so hard as kids. You know, we were trainees for so long, had to deal with, you know, grown up situations. Wow, this is like a double entendre for our relationship. You know, like a lot of K-pop songs are, there's a lot of double entendres. But I think he's throwing this paper airplane to Icon. He's saying that we worked so hard when we were younger that we became sensitive. Like we're, we're kind of sensitive. I mean, you think about uh, someone else that was, someone else that had to grow up when they were really young like that would be a, a little grown up is like Michael Jackson and you think about how you know he's so fragile his heart is so sensitive you know oh yeah he's in got in she's a hand on a tongue and hard on the she and goes out I got you Deadly words like a sacrifice we embrace so naturally. So, the deadly words I would say would probably be would probably be that Bi had to leave. Mm -hmm. Finding out that news, the news of he had to go. And that right there sounds a lot like Icon. Right. Because we know from the wind show that that was how they always were. Whenever they took a L, whenever they took a beating, they were always like, let's just be happy. Right. That's so them. So I can tell that that's what they say to each other. Like, let's just be happy. We have to deal with the situation. You know, let's yeah. just be happy. And B.I. is like questioning why you know he's alive like he's he's really just going through it man he's having like an uh, existential crisis just thinking like like i thought my know. purpose was to yeah. be in this group right to be the leader of this group exactly exactly <laughs> Also, just wanted to point out the double entendre, like if this is about a relationship that split, then um, the words that were said were, let's just be happy. Let's just deal with it. So he's saying like he's gonna kind of mask his emotions like he's just gonna keep warm with the blanket and just get through it he's just gonna try to look at the positive 
We can put a band-aid on his pain. Right. Temporary, like, uh, fix. Like, a t just like a temporary fix. Like, you're just gonna ignore it for now. Mm-hmm. And, like, facing the night is your heart. So, basically, you know, at nighttime, you know, I'm sure, you know, a lot of people can relate. Thinks the most about it. Exactly. Yeah, everyone gets emotional at nighttime. So he said, every night, I'm going to cry, basically. Like, now every night, I'm going to cry. And also, I feel like he's saying, you know, we're going to cry. Like, we're all going to cry. Um, whether yeah. that's Icon or the Iconics, like, it's going to be upsetting. And uh, he's saying, like, I'll pretend that I don't know that every night I'm going to cry. Ha! Ah. Damn, bro, this is choking me up, man. Yeah. It's like written so well. It's so. Yeah. It's like poetically sad. He's saying like, I'm getting used to just feeling upset. I'm getting used to the pain. It seems like everybody's getting used to it now. He's becoming numb to it. Trying to just live, move on like normal. He thinks that everybody's like this. He's like, okay, everybody's dealing with something. Right. And they just know how to put on a brave face, so I have to do that too. Right, which, you know, goes along with the double entendre too. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people have went through a heartbreak. Yeah, you can just hear his emotion, man. He's, he's getting mad. I can't tell. Is that his mom? I'm starting to think maybe that's his mom. He's, that, he's like a kid at home doing the dishes by himself. She does seem like an older lady. Yeah, I, I can't really tell, but I know that it does seem like it's possible because it seems like in the video, this is a kid. And it, him talking about, you know, growing up, like he had to grow up. I mean, look at the difference in the hand yeah, size. Yeah. Never know your words today may be your last by tomorrow. And this has to probably be talking about like your last words with somebody else. Mm -hmm. Like with Icon or something. Right, like he didn't know that Ugh. his last words with them would be the last. Would, yeah. Ugh. And I'm thinking about. Even if there's someone passed away. I'm thinking about the end of YYY when, Ch when Chan was like, if I knew today would be the last time I seen you, I would have. You know, kept you in my eyes longer. Mm -hmm. God. <sighs> Beautiful. 
Pain in my chest. Scr he had scratches on his face, and then he put band aids over it, like he's just putting a band aid over his hurt. He's just trying to get over it. What an amazing track. It's so sad and ironic that he says, um, let's just be happy. I feel like him saying that is like ironically sad because he's saying to the group, if he's talking to Icon, he's saying to them, let's just be happy. And they're saying, let's just be happy and everything. But he's saying, but deep down, I know like, that, like I'll just pretend, but Deep down, I know that we're all crying and we're all sad. But like, let's tell each other. Let's just be happy. Right. That's just so and, sad. Like, uh. And let, like, let's pretend that I don't know that every night I'm gonna cry. Or that we're all gonna cry. Yeah. I just, I really felt his pain on this track. It's just gonna make mix and match way worse. <laughs> oh my God. B.I. stay strong, man. Icon stay strong. Iconic stay strong. Protect B.I. at all costs. Everybody, make sure you support B.I. and subscribe to 131 Label. Going to a good cause. Right. Everything's going to donation to the charity. So I just pray the best for B.I. And I pray the best for Icon. And I hope they find peace. And I hope the Iconics find peace as well. This was tough to get through. Yeah. Yeah, I got I got real choked. I up feel like I'm a wreck. <laughs> like, yeah, I could just break down at any moment right now. This is too much. It just it's just so frustrating because it's so dumb. Like, it makes no sense to me whatsoever. It feels like an injustice. Yeah. It's like why? Like for real? It's like it's almost like someone went to jail for a crime that they didn't commit or something like. Cause the level that you're, like the the crime doesn't fit the punishment, you know? No, not at so all. So it just doesn't make sense. That, that wasn't worth all that training and hard work that he did to be taken away. Not at all. And him being a leader and always being such a good leader too is what makes it so much worse is that he's always been such an amazing leader and they've always been such an amazing team. They've always been such a good, uh, they've always been so good at just teamwork, you know, just being a good team. So that's just, it's rough. And it's like, it's like literally being ripped away from your family. Yeah. Legitimately. I honestly think this is the saddest song that I've heard in Korean. So we will definitely be reacting to Remember Me and Blossom. So that's coming. And I'm excited to check those out. This track was beautiful. It's gorgeous. Deserves way more views than this. I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll be trying to push this. We love y'all. Stay up. Stay awesome. We'll catch y'all in the next one. You stay classy. Critic out. Shy out.